Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little sun hat for a baby girl between six and nine months old. It's very easy to make. It's part of this baby set that I already showed you how to make the matching little cardigan and the matching baby pants. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the links to these tutorials. Now, I also went ahead and did the matching bonnet for those of you who prefer the bonnet, so stay tuned for this tutorial. Okay, so I hope you like it and without further say, let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this double knit baby yarn in this color pink. I'm using this brand, it's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett. If you're in the US, you can use any number three baby yarn. Okay, so here to begin, I'm going to make a magic circle. So hold your yarn right there, wrap it around your fingers, Hold it right there, see? Hold your yarn, insert your hook through this circle, grab a loop like this, and there's your magic circle. Now here we're going to make two chains. The two chains from here on never count as a stitch. So now inside this circle, we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets like this. Now, if you have a hard time making the magic circle, you can chain four and then join to the first chain with a slip stitch. And then inside the, that chain three space, make 12 double crochets. So continue, make 12 double crochets, and then I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I made a total of 12 double crochets inside this circle. So now I'm going to pull this string here and close this circle. Now, to finish, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row with 12 double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two. Remember the two chains never count as a stitch. Now into this same stitch here, we're going to make two double crochets. That's one and two. On top of the next, double crochet you're going to make two double crochets in this row this is all we're going to do we're going to make two double crochets on top of each one of the double crochets from the previous row at the end of this second row you're going to have a total of 24 double crochets continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of the second row to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now in the second row, we have a total of 24 double crochets. For the third row, chain two, and into the same stitch here, make two double crochets. One and two. Into the next, make one double crochet. Into the next, two double crochets into the next one double crochet. This is how you're going to continue, just alternating between one double crochet, then two, one, two, one, two. At the end of this third row, you should have a total of 36 double crochets. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 36 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, you're going to chain two into the same stitch here where you're going to make two double crochets, one and two. Into the next two double crochets, you're going to make one double crochet on each. So that's one and one. Into the next, make two double crochets Two, and into the next two, one double crochet on each. This is how we're going to continue for this fourth row. You're just going to alternate between two double crochets, then one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way to the end. At the end of the fourth row, you should have 48 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm at the end of the fourth row. I have 48 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and into this same stitch here, make two double crochets. One and two. Into the next three double crochets. One, two, three. I'm going to make one double crochet on each. That's one, one, and one. So this is our repeat sequence. Again, make two double crochets into the next one, 
and two, and into the next three, make one double crochet on each. This is how I'm going to continue for this fifth row. At the end, I'm going to have a total of 60 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 60 double crochets to finish. Go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two into the same stitch here. I'm going to make two double crochets. Now in this row, we're going to make two double crochets, then four double crochets. So into the next four double crochets here, I'm going to make one double crochet on each. So that's one. two, three, four. Then again into the next I'm going to make two double crochets and into the next four double crochets, one double crochet on each. At the end of this sixth row you should have a total of 72 double crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have 72 double crochets up to here. Now in this row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more double crochet here at the end so that I finish with 73 double crochets like this. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the sixth row with 73 double crochets. And that's what it looks like. Now this circle here has a circumference of about 43 centimeters which is about 17 inches um, and if you measure right across it's measuring uh, 14 centimeters which is about 5.5 inches so now we're going to start counting rows again so here for the first row we're going to chain two and in this row right here where i did the slip stitch i'm going to make a double crochet double crochet into the next double crochet into the next and so on. I'm not going to make any more increases or anything. We're just going to work one double crochet on each one of these double crochets. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 73 double crochets, not including the two chains. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, chain two. Here we're going to work front post and back post double crochet. So beginning into this first double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet. Next one, front post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this second row. Continue no meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, for rows three and four, we're just going to work double crochets all around. So chain two into this same stitch where we did the slip stitch. Make your first double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, double crochet on top of the next, and so on. Continue like this, just making double crochets all around. Remember that at the end of every row, you should finish with 73 double crochets. So continue, finish this third row, and then uh, finish the fourth row, and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now this is how I finish this row. Now from here on, we're going to repeat these three rows the row where we do front post and back post double crochets, then the two rows of double crochets. So now for the fifth row, I have to do the row with the front post and back post double crochets. So chain two and this first double crochet here, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. The next one, back post double crochet. Next one, front post double crochet. Next one, back post double crochet and so on. Continue like this all around. When you finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Then repeat the two rows that we just did, these two rows of double crochets. And then you're going to repeat the row of front post and back post double crochets. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of 11 rows, so this is where we started counting. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rows. And it's measuring, let's see, it measures from the top to the bottom, it measures 6.25 inches, which is about 
uh, 16 centimeters. Okay, so here, what we're going to do into the next row is, um, I'm not going to cut my yarn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to insert my hook here into this space, but we're going to do it this way, like this. Okay, and then I'm going to skip one, two, and into this space here, I'm going to make a V-stitch. Then again, I'm going to skip one, two, and into this space, another V-stitch. So let me show you. So we're going to chain two, one, two, turn this like this, and we're going to go up one row right here. Insert your hook there and uh, make a slip stitch there. Now, chain three, and into this same stitch here, make a double crochet. Now, skip one, two, and into the space here, insert your hook there, and we're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one, two, and into this stitch after the second stitch right there, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one, one, two, and into this stitch right there, make another V-stitch. This is all I'm going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next, and that's what it looks like, see, right there, and this is what it looks like under. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of V-stitches, and I have a total of 37 V-stitches. To finish, I just joined here to the side where we have the three chains with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. Now, as it is, you can leave the hat like this. It looks very pretty, I think, but I'm going to do one more row, two more rows, actually, around. So we're going to go here to this last, to this last V-stitch that we did here. Now insert your hook there, grab a loop. I'm going to use this white color, chain three. One, two, three. Now make a double crochet, chain one, and then two double crochets. One, two. Jump to the next V-stitch and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue like this, and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this row. Here at the end, all I did was go to here to the side where we have the three chains, did a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. Now we're going to turn this over like this, and right here, right between this last and the first fan right there, insert your hook there, Grab a loop, I'm going to use this pink color again, and now I'm going to chain two. One, two. Inside this chain one space of this first fan, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet again into this chain one space, chain two, between these two fans right in the middle, make single crochet, chain two, then inside the chain one space, single crochet, three chains, single crochet, two chains, single crochet between the fans. This is how I'm going to continue for this last row and that's what it looks like. Continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished this last row. All I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through that last loop, and then I just hid my end. So our little sun hat is done. This is what it looks like. Now, I also went ahead and added this little flower. It's optional. I'll go ahead and show you how to make it next. Okay, so our hat is done. I also have the matching little bonnet. Here it is, so stay tuned for this tutorial. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, until next time. Okay, so to make the flower, what we're going to do is using a three millimeter crochet hook and using this light number three yarn, I'm going to chain 40. Into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, 
single crochet into the next and so on. Continue and work single crochets. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these single crochets. I have 39 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain four and into the first single crochet, this one here, make one double crochet. Now in this row, we're going to make V stitches. So we're going to skip one single crochet and into the next, make a V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Again, skip one single crochet and into the next, another V stitch. This is all I'm going to do all the way to the end of this second row. So continue like this and I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. And that's what it looks like. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 20 V stitches. Now for the third row, we're going to turn and inside this chain one space of this V stitch there, make a slip stitch. Now chain three, double crochet inside the same V stitch, chain one, two double crochets. This is what we're going to do for this row. Again, jump to the next V stitch and do the same thing. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this, making these fans of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets inside each one of the V stitches. I'll meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this third row. I did my last fan here. I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. Now we're going to go here to this other end right here, right on top. With this pink color, we're going to go on top of the three chains here and grab this loop and chain two. One, two. Now inside this chain one space of this first fan, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the same stitch here, into that same chain one space, chain two, and between each of the fans right in the center, make one single crochet. This is what we're going to do for each one of the fans. So again, chain two, inside the chain one space, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet again into that same chain one space, two chains and in the middle between the fans, single crochet. Continue like this for this row and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I finished here at this end now. I've hidden all my ends and this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to form our flower. So here you're going to have to determine which is the right side. It doesn't really matter. It looks pretty on both sides. So I'm going to do this as my right side and I'm going to fold this like this, just to form a flower, see? Just roll it like this. Now make sure your center is nice and pretty like that. Now, I have some yarn here and a needle, so all we're going to do is just sew all of these layers like this, in and out from one end to the other to make sure that we grab all of the uh, layers like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do it in and out like this. That should be okay. Let's see. Perfect. And our flower is done. Now you can attach it to the hat like this and you have your finished flower where you can attach it with these remaining um, ends here through the hat. So just go in and out, in and out. See, and that's what it looks like. So this is the finished little hat. You can also um, attach a ribbon or some elastic like I have here. Just sew it here on one end and then on the other side here. Or maybe some ribbon ties and then attach your flower. And there's our finished little hat.